This is part two of a three-part series in which we explore unique conservation projects that are small scale but are big on impact. Pollinator species are essential for supporting the world's flowering plants, facilitating agricultural productivity, and maintaining the health of a diverse range of ecosystems. In Ontario, Canada, habitat loss, pesticides, and urbanization have led to a loss of important habitats and ecosystems for pollinators. In this episode, we explore how the creation of specific pollinator gardens is aiming to provide habitat for these crucial species. Stay tuned. Pollinators are animals such as bees, butterflies, hummingbirds, and beetles that play a crucial role in transferring pollen between plants, facilitating fertilization and enabling the production of fruits and seeds. And the importance of pollinators on our food supply can't be overstated, as according to the USDA, three-fourths of the world's flowering plants and about 35% of the world's food crops depend on animal pollinators to reproduce. To put that in perspective, that's one out of every three bites of food you eat are dependent on pollinators. To counteract the decline in pollinator species we are seeing, creating pollinator gardens filled with native plants can provide essential habitat and help sustain these important species. These gardens, which can be established in diverse settings such as backyards or community spaces, not only support pollinator health, but also enhance local biodiversity. So pollinator gardens function by offering a variety of native plants that are specifically chosen for their ability to provide nectar and pollen sources throughout the growing season. The plants are arranged to mimic natural ecosystems which help to attract and sustain diverse pollinator species. The garden's design includes a mix of colors, scents, and plant heights to cater to different pollinator preferences, enhancing visitation rates. Pollinator gardens act as stepping stones or refuges in fragmented landscapes, facilitating the movement and interaction of pollinators across broader areas, which in turn supports pollination services in adjacent natural and agricultural areas. By increasing the density and health of pollinator populations, these gardens not only help stabilize and improve local ecosystems, but also potentially boost crop yields, directly benefiting the human food supply. Additionally, pollinator gardens serve as educational platforms for communities, fostering a deeper understanding of ecological processes and conservation, while also enhancing the aesthetic and recreational appeal of the areas in which they were established. Welcome to our exploration of four unique pollinator gardens in Oakville, Ontario. Facilitated by Oakville Green Conservation, each are designed with a distinct purpose and ecological contribution. Let's dive into these vibrant spaces that are buzzing with life and supporting biodiversity right in the heart of the city. First up, we have the Kingsford Gardens Pollinator Pathway. This pilot project focuses on transforming a conventional turf grass area into a flourishing meadow ecosystem. By the fall of 2021, the area was enriched with hundreds of native wildflowers and grasses, creating a vital habitat for pollinators and nesting birds. These native plants are not only pivotal for local wildlife, but also enhance carbon sequestration and help mitigate flooding, thanks to their deep root systems. Next, we visit the Medicine Wheel Garden at Sheridan College. Planted in 2017 to mark Sheridan's 50th anniversary, this garden is steeped in symbolism, reflecting First Nations traditional teachings. The space is designed for biodiversity, healing, and peaceful reflection, serving both educational and spiritual purposes for the college community. Here we have the Butterfly Wing Garden in Oak Park, this garden was planted in two phases in 2018 and is in the shape of butterfly wings. This garden includes plants such as wild geranium, wild strawberry, and little blue stem grass, 
and provides a unique habitat in a suburban area. Moving on to the Glen Abbey Pollinator Garden, established in May of 2015. This garden is uniquely shaped like a butterfly and positioned just outside the community center's library window. It not only enhances the space, but also serves as a practical teaching tool for Oakville Green's educational workshops, illustrating how easily unused grassy areas can be converted into thriving mini ecosystems. Imagine a meal without strawberries, almonds, or tomatoes, or some of your other favorite fruits and vegetables. These staples depend on pollinators like bees and butterflies, which are supported by pollinator gardens. Without these gardens, our food could become scarce and expensive, affecting everyone, not just the conservation enthusiasts. Pollinator gardens not only ensure the availability and affordability of our food, but also enhance local biodiversity and environmental quality. They are vital for maintaining the ecosystems on which our food supply and well-being depend. You can make a big impact with small actions. Engaging in community projects or starting a pollinator garden, even in small spaces like balconies or window boxes, help support these essential ecosystems. Start by learning about pollinator importance and get involved in local conservation efforts. Whether it's through donating, participating in community gardens, or educating others, your involvement is crucial. Small-scale actions lead to significant benefits for our food security and sustainability. Join the movement to protect our pollinators and ensure a diverse, affordable food supply for the future. Thanks for watching.